Hey everybody, welcome back for another sublimation tutorial. Are you looking for printer settings to be able to print your vibrant colors for your sublimation projects? Today we're going to go over test prints of four different profiles for your printer to help you see what kind of prints those profiles will give you. We'll go over a regular print that comes standard with your Epson printer that comes out of boxing. Uh, we'll go over the Facebook recommended settings, the ICC download from Epson that you can get downloaded from their website. And then the fourth one is just a personal one that I use that works really well for me to get those vibrant colors. So we'll start first with the printer setting that comes uh, with your Epson printer as you unbox. And that's just a fast print right here. Uh, you can see everything's still the same, nothing's been changed. Plain paper, color, um, there are more options up here. Automatic color still set. Your bi-directional printing, which is also your fast printing, is also set as well. You actually can't uncheck it when you use the standard printing option. So we'll go ahead and push OK, and this is the first test print. And we'll go ahead and send that to the printer here. And I am going to continue recording so that you guys can get the accurate um, visual to make sure that this is really what's printing out for you guys. You can go over here and press that. In the upper left corner, you'll see the print going out. So that is the first test print with just the standard printer setting that comes with your printer. You can see it's pretty dull faded. Um, not a lot of ink came out of that. I'll go ahead and place that back in. We'll continue to print on the same piece of paper. We're going to go to printer settings number two, which is what the Facebook recommends, the picture that people post, and um, there's a whole bunch of different settings on it. So Facebook profile, you'll have it set as portrait, which I'm just doing right now. Normally I have it set at landscape for my preference. Your paper type will be presentation paper matte. Quality is high, color, and go to your more options. You'll see your color correction is custom and go to advanced. Your brightness level will be nine, contrast will be seven, saturation will be 15, and density is four. You also want to go up to your color mode and check Adobe RGB and place it under 2.2. You'll go ahead and push OK and we'll go ahead and print this test print for you. So these ones do take a little bit longer to print because it is putting more ink and it's more accurate. So I'll try to fast forward through these parts for you. All right, so test number two has come out. We can see the huge contrast and difference and the vibrancy, whereas test one was very dull and faded. And test two has laid down much more ink and has a lot more vibrant color to it. So between these two, of course, the test two is gonna be the much better option for you to go with, which is the Facebook image that everybody's kind of um, sharing to help each other out. So we'll again, go ahead and put this back in the feed and we'll move on to test number three, which is the ICC download that comes with the printer from the Epson website. Um, so we'll move along to that one. So ICC profile, this one rec um, sets you up with plain paper, quality is high, color, and up to your more options. It does do a custom and you go to advanced. It automatically just says ICM. There is no adjusting, that's just how it already sets it up for you. So you'll close out of that. And it does again leave the bi-directional printing on for the fast print. Um, when it does the automatic ICC profile, that's how they have it set for you. 
So I'll go ahead and get that printed. All right, so that was a much quicker print as it had the fast setting on it. You can see the colors are still better than just the regular fast print without the uh, fast print off. It is still a little bit duller than the test number two though, as the fast, I believe, doesn't let it lay as much ink down and it's not saturating as much ink either through your paper. So I'll move to test four. We'll get that printed for you. So this is test number four. It's the one that I use for my personal projects, which is Sublimation Tumblr. Normally, I, like I said, I have it in landscape for wrapping my tumblers, but I am gonna change it to portrait so that it prints out the right way. More options. I'm also gonna turn my mirror mode off. I just have it automatically set that way. Bidirectional is always turned off. Again, that's your fast print, and that's the quality assurance you're gonna get is when you have that turned off. You'll go to Custom Color Correction, Advanced, Adobe RGB with 2.2. I have my brightness and contrast set at zero. I don't mess with those. My saturation is at 15, my density is at four. We'll move over and print that out for you. I just find this to be a quicker and a little bit easier way for me. And it comes out with very well uh, vibrancy colors for you. All right, so that's now done printing as well. And that is the fourth color print. As you can see, you can kind of compare all of the test imagings now between test one, two, three, and four. You can see that test one and test three are gonna be the lighter choices. Once again, test one was just the regular fast print, nothing changed. Test three was the ICC download from their website. It's better, but it's still lacking that vibrancy color. And going to two and four, both are great options. I did notice between two and four, if you can see the yellow petals and the green petals, test four actually gave more definition of those petals. Where you can see the petals in test two, they kind of just blend in. So you're not getting that definition as you would in test four. So these are the settings that I have played with and messed around with. And for me, I get the best options with the test four. The most important thing is using the matte paper, uh, presentation paper, having your fast print off, um, just adjusting your saturation to 15. It's gonna saturate your paper more than anything. And that's what you're wanting to do is get that ink onto your paper so that you're going to get a good product when you're actually doing the sublimation process. And then the density also just helps again with the density and the, um, you know, puts more ink in there. So you can actually get some contrast between your petals versus just kind of a flat, more 3D image. So in the next video, I'm actually going to go through and press these images so we can test out how the images are going to look once they're pressed with the heat. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful for you, please boop that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share for others so that others can be helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting!